Alright, alright, welcome again. So, of course, the deeply saddened look on their face when they see me recording. Again, it shows that their subliminal message not working, not falling for it. Okay, particularly when I'm still being harassed, whether I'm in the, in the house, I'm outside, doesn't matter. So, you know, like I said, I'm gonna continue recording and uh, continue to expose them in all ways, all facets that I'm able to. Okay, now, the further injury they keep causing me is that now, Whenever I sit up out of bed or I'm sitting too long on a chair, I'm going to come up and get to to get off the chair. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, back it cracks in multiple places, and this has been happening for the past week now. And again, for the heavy remote room monitoring in the home, the microwaving, and again, co opting the consciousness of people in my family particularly my young grand nephew at three years old uh was sitting on the you know sometimes i play with him and he's in my bedroom and he's sitting down and he's like putting his hands over his mouth in a in a way you know like hush be quiet that's that sort of thing um it was the other day he took my phone and basically were able to access my phone by putting in my code. You know, I have a code on my phone. I can either access it through my access my phone through my thing, through the fingerprint scanner, or through a four-digit code. And he was able to access my phone. And then I asked him, I said, how do you access my phone? And he put his hands over his mouth, you know, in that hush <laughs> sort of way. Where you put your pointing finger or your index finger over your mouth to tell somebody to hush up. Uh, that's exactly what he did. And I was like, wow. And immediately afterwards, they followed by a police officer. Right? So, again, I know what it is that they're doing. Like I said, they can continue to uh, uh, use the psychiatric label and take it off whenever they want to, what have you, whenever it's with them. But I'm going to keep speaking about it because, again, people need to be aware. And I know that people are listening, and from what I've shown, uh, and as TIs, it is up to prove what it is that we say going on. We cannot depend on anyone from uh, the psychiatric industry or institutions or uh, therapists outside of that who, who practice uh, privately because they uh, have been compromised. A lot of them have been compromised. I wouldn't say all of them, but a lot of them. And those that haven't been compromised, they will um, uh, prevent you from seeing them. Okay? So... You know, again, it's like if they think that I'm going to be quiet, I can tell them the only way you're going to shut me up is if you institutionalize me, incarcerate me, and put me in a box. That's it. All right? So until they get that in their head, and until they, you know, like the slogan they used to, that, like the Nike slogan they have adopted when they target me and try to manipulate me into violence, just do it. Well, I'm going to say to you, just do it. Okay? There you go. Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>